Hello. In the previous tutorial, we um, we added an image to our WordPress web page or blog post, but we only did the very basics that we needed to to just get a picture into the page. In this tutorial, I want to show you more of the things you can do because you can do a lot more than we've done so far. So let's have a look. What we're going to do? There's a um, a web page that goes with this this video so I'm going to go through the things on the web page so that I don't forget to tell you anything right what do we need to do first first of all this is our page in Word we're using wordpress.com because it's free and you can practice on it right now you don't have to wait until you get your website set up you can just get a wordpress.com website and start practicing now so we need to put the cursor in the page wherever we want the picture to be so we're going to put it at the beginning of the first paragraph then where it says upload insert just click the button and we could choose a, a, a file from our computer but there's one in the media library that I want to use I've already uploaded this these are things that's already been uploaded so we've clicked that now we want to click show and here's the image that we want to do right this edit image button we're going to come back to that in a minute right so what do we, what can we see here title the title whatever you type there will appear as a pop-up when people hover their mouse over the image in your page that only works in some web browsers there's a thing called um well the browser specific things are some things are browser specific and they just won't work in other browsers it's just the way it is um alt text or so type there whatever you want when someone hovers over your image if you want say you know, uh, I like this blue car or whatever you want it to be, just type it there and it'll appear as a pop-up. Alt text is made for partially sighted and blind people. They can use some software called a screen reader and it reads the text on the page to them so they don't have to see it. But because they can't see the images, you type in their text that you would, if you were describing it to a blind person, type that text in there. It might be, this is a blue Jowett car, I took it at a local museum or whatever you want it to be caption your caption appears underneath the image here on the web page i'll put a caption oh we've got a caption there uh, and that will appear just underneath the image this description is only there for your benefit it's it you, you can type anything there as a reminder or you could put i took this picture on the 8th of february whatever you want to put in there just put it in there so that's your description for you to help you the link url if you click none then when they click the image nothing will happen um, or you could have it to when they click the image if you if you leave it as standard if you don't change anything here when they click the image they'll see a bigger image suppose we chose thumbnail or medium we'll put a medium sized image in um, when they click that picture a bigger image will open up so but you can do other things with that you can you can add a link to any way you want so if they click suppose you put google in there uh, the, the link to google um, when they click the image it would take them to google right what else can we do we can set the alignment to left center or right so if we set it to be we'll set it left aligned so that the text will wrap around the image uh, if you do it to right, the text it will be on the right hand side and the text would wrap round. We're going to, going to put it on the left with the text wrapping around it. Right, we're going to have a medium sized image, excuse me. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Right, um, we've got a medium sized image and just before we insert it into the post I'll show you what this edit image button does. <coughs> oh pardon me right the edit image button we're going to make a, I'm going to make a video just about this particular dialog box when you click that edit image button but basically what this is useful for is to crop the image supposing you don't have any image editing software on your computer like paint shop pro or <laughs> if you're rich photoshop I use a free one called GIMP and it's very good anyway suppose you don't have any um, image editing uh, software on your computer you can use this to do some basic image editing now you can crop the image if we only wanted that bit of the image we could crop that or 
off we can do other things we could rotate the image which we don't want to do and we can scale or resize the image to make it a different size anyway I'm going to make another video just about doing that because we haven't got time to do it in this this video we can't do it all in one video so we're going to insert the image into the post there it is in our post we'll click the update button always click the update button <laughs> else your updates won't happen and then we'll view the page you can see what we've made right now there's the picture in the page this is the caption and when we hover over it that's the little pop-up tooltip that appears when we hover over the uh, the picture so you could put anything in that that uh, in that text there you can put whatever you want right now this is the bit that I told you about that was the featured image now this particular theme is called 2011 and in this theme the, the, the featured image appears here but it needs to be 1000 wide by 288 high or it won't appear as a featured image in the in this part of the page there's a, you can also add a featured image to um, what's called a sticky post but we're going to do that in a different uh, a different video well I think I've told you all I need to know we'll just go through the web page and make sure I haven't forgotten anything I don't think I have but you can never tell when you get to my time of life it's easy to forget right let's have a look we've done that bit I'll just show you I don't know if I explained that um, I don't know if I told you about that you can make the image smaller using this uh, percentage thing here right where else have we missed anything let's have a look don't think so we've done that bit oh we haven't done the borders have we ah that's a good job <laughs> it's a good job I had that there to remind me we've completely avoided the advanced settings that won't do right so how did we get to the advanced settings once it's in the page just click the image and then click this little picture of a, a photograph there that takes you to the image edit dialog box but there's also the advanced settings dialog box and one of the things you might want to do you can add space supposing you think this text is too close to the image now the theme we're using is very good and it's, it's got a good border around it or a good gap between the text and the image but some themes don't have that so we can change it here so what we're going to do we're going to add some space between the image and the text so we'll add nine pixels of space and that's just added some space there if you want to you see it's got margin this this is the code that's made it work that styles where it says styles there so we've got margin left and margin right but we only want margin right so we can just delete the margin left bit if you watch here that this gap will close see um we don't want any space actually because it's um the theme is really well made it's called 2011 the theme is really well made we can put a border a colored border around the image so in there we'll have a five pixel border you just type five and it'll know you mean five five pixels there we go we've got a black border if we want that border to be red where it says styles here we can all the certain colors that will and won't work but black red green yellow things like that you can just type it in there we'll have a green one right so it's gone to green now I don't actually want a border so we'll get rid of that right what else can we do there's uh, I'll just make it fit on the screen there we go this open link in a new window is useful because if you tick that when someone clicks your picture it will open in a new browser window it won't be in the same window it opens up a new tab or a new window to show them the, the, the full size image so you might want to do that right we'll just click the update button now we'll go back to our web page and hopefully <laughs> I'll have shown you everything I need to show you click the update button here there we go we'll view the page and see there we are and when somebody clicks it they get to see the full size image then they've got to click the back button on the browser to go back to the page well I think that that is all I need to show you do th th this website here goes with this video 
So there's using WordPress.org is a, a well with a hyphen. It's using hyphen WordPress.org, and that's a, a website that goes with these uh, these video tutorials. So I do hope you enjoy using WordPress. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to find out more, go to this website and have fun using WordPress. Thanks for watching. Bye.